Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to I cannot believe 1989 Taylor's version is literally imminent at this point. We are less than 48 hours away from having 1989 Taylor's version, so in conclusion, I decided that it was best if I pulled out all my original merch <laughs> from the original 1989 era, not things that they've released for Taylor's version, but things from the original 2014, 2015, 1989 era. It's sprawled out across my room for your viewing pleasure because I'm doing a full 1989 merch haul right now. It's not to brag, this was the era that I really started collecting like big time because I started you know having my own money here and there more than I did like when you know I was 13 you know because I was I was 15 in this era I was 15 when I met Taylor and um so I would save like my my visa like $50 $25 $15 gift cards to buy stuff on her website when it came out so that is how this legacy started but yeah, you guys, it's just you, me, the camera, the ring light, and a dream right now of showing you all of this. And like I said, it's not to brag, it's just for your viewing pleasure, and I love seeing merch hauls. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so I don't really know where the heck to start, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna start. The first thing I'm going to show you is one of my prized possessions, and I got this at Record Store Day in 2018. It is the clear and pink vinyl. It's the crystal clear and pink vinyl from Record Store Day. It was $29.98 when I bought it. It is mint condition. It's sealed. It's numbered. It's 257 out of 3,750. I keep this mint because it's so meaningful to me and so she stays mint the one that i play is just the 1989 2 lp i think i got this at barnes and noble if i remember correctly but yeah oh god then i pulled all my magazines that i could find i think there's still one box of taylor magazines that i haven't like exactly sorted through because i have it in the lover amazon box so i liked the way it looked in there so i kind of left it but there might be a couple more in there i'm not sure however i pulled the 2014 2015 1989 era magazines that i collected um also i wanted to mention during the 1989 era there were a couple american greeting cards and a couple papyrus cards that were released However, I decided not to pull those, and I think I'm going to do like a full Taylor greeting card collection, stationery collection in a different video, um, just so you guys can see it as a whole. And anyways, let's begin with the magazine section, shall we? Okay, we've got Glamour British, and this is a smaller magazine. I She mentioned Swiftmas in this. And if you didn't know, I was one of the recipients of Taylor's Christmas giving in 2014. And so I remember, I think they sold this at Barnes and Noble. So I went rummaging all over my city for this. The next one is People Style Watch. We have Vanity Fair. Now this one threw me off because her hair was a little longer, but you know, it was September 2015, so we we're still in the 1989 era, so I pulled her. This was from October 2014, so when 1989 was about to get released. The FYE Gift Guide 2014, and it was slap in your face, please, by 1989, as it should have been. I'm going to cover this one really well because it has an address on it. It is the Time Magazine, and this is from... 2014. Um, I think I accidentally pulled this one. Yep. <laughs> this is Lucky Magazine. Taylor was on the cover and it was from January 2015. One of my favorite Taylor covers is GQ and this was from November 2015. Look at her. 
Oh my god. This is, I think, a duplicate of a magazine I already showed you. This was from InStyle, November 2014. We've got Billboard Woman of the Year. Oh my god, I remember this so clearly. This was on her birthday. That's so special. Okay. And then we have the 1989 World Tour Tour Book. Now this is really cool because it's like, it moves on the front. And... Welcome to the newest chapter in my story, your story, our story. Welcome to the accumulation of all the wonderful things you've done for me. Welcome to New York. Welcome to my wildest dreams. Everything you see on the stage you've made possible. Oh, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry again. Um, this was the tour that I met Taylor on. So this is going to make me tear up. Guys, I'm not ready for the prologue. Reading that just made me realize... The prologue is going to make me absolutely wail. Like, I, I'm already choked up just from re reading that. I am not ready to read that prologue. I am, <laughs> I'm not. I've cried at every single one, but 1989 is going to wreck me. Okay. I have the 1989 World Tour pin set. There's a black one. There's a pink one. There's a blue one. And I love them. I love unique little merch pieces like that. And so that was one I had grabbed off her website. This was on her website. It's the 1989 photo frame. And so this is definitely something that I loved. And I put my picture with Taylor in it. But this was the frame that came on the website. And I'm... Going through this is making me so emotional. Like, it all just comes flooding back to me, you know? Like, it's crazy to think, like, all the memories I made in this era. Okay, so next up is the guitar pick set. And I used to have, like, the original box. I don't know what happened to her. Um, but there's one pick. To pick. <laughs> Why are these so hard to hold? Three pick. Oop. Four pick. That's from Shake It Off. <laughs> Five pick. It came in a set of six. If you couldn't tell, we're, we're about to get there. Five pick. She's going to focus. She focused. Look at that. And then, last but not least, sixth pick. Um, so yeah. Okay. Next up we have the 1989 button set. It came with four buttons and this was for the 1989 World Tour. Um, I'll take it out of its little sleeve. Remember when everybody used to put buttons on like their, their bags and their purses? People still do and I love when they do that because I have a water bottle that I have stickers all over. So I love when people like will put buttons on stuff. I've just been too scared to lose it. Um, so this is what the button set looked like. Hopefully you can see that. The ring light hopefully is doing its job and providing enough light. I will probably scream when I edit this. You just wait. Um, but I wanted to have this video up for you guys and this was my only chance to film so I said you know what that ring light is gonna just come in handy right now she's gonna do her job she's gonna do her occupation okay um so the next thing that I have is a 1989 VIP set now this is filled with lithographs and then on the back it just has all the tour dates for the 1989 world tour and it comes in a sleeve like, hello? VIP lithograph from Taylor. We have four. We have one. A dust just went up my nose. Two. Three. And four. I love them so much. For the sake of time, I will not be putting them back in there right now. 
Then I have the 1989 World Tour VIP lanyard and I remember one of my friends was selling this and I was like, please, please sell me that because I was technically VIP because I met Taylor and I just would love to have it. So please choose me, love me. And she did. So I'm very lucky to have that in my collection. I think she sold it to me for like $10. I would have paid an unspeakable amount to have this. Um, I love lanyards, like love them. Okay, moving on. Now I did a now I did a Keds collection before I moved, but I did want to show you a couple Keds that were specific to 1989. So we have the 1989 Seagull Keds. Like that is iconic. <gasps> I forgot to pull the literal ones that I met Taylor in. Well, that's an absolute disgrace. Um, here's a picture of them. Um, they're literally in there, but when I tell you I have merch spread all out, yeah, um, that would be a feat. That would be an absolute feat for me to go rummage and get them right now. So we're just gonna, I'll just put a picture there and you guys have to trust me. Also something else you guys are gonna have to wait a little bit on, my apologies, is I did not pull my ornaments and I said the same thing when I did my original Speak Now merch collection and that is simply because um, they are packed away with all my Christmas ornaments and packed away in like totes and everything so when Christmas time rolls around trust I will do a full Taylor ornament collection. That is a promise. You guys can hold me to it. Yell at me, scream at me in the comments, but I promise I'll do it. You know, the funny thing about using this ring light is I can see the reflection in my glasses and it's kind of bugging me out, but if it looks like anything from Halloween, we'll just say that's the excuse because it's close to Halloween. Here are the 1989 World Tour Keds. These have every single city listed on them that she played on the 1989 World Tour. So, the next thing I have is the Nine Squares Lithograph, but it's autographed. And here's what it looks like. It was sold back on her merch store. Oh my God, not that circle. Back in the merch store uh, during I think Christmas 2015. One of the one of the two. There was a sale and my dad was nice enough to surprise me with it for Christmas. So this here, what I'm about to show you is one of my prized possessions. Now this was handed to me right after I met Taylor and um, it's an autographed lithograph and it's just very special to me. I think this print was sold on her website, but not autographed. The autographs were for the 1989 meet and greet people, but I do have that. She needs to find a spot on my wall. Then I just did a video on all of these. So if you want to see every single one of the original 1989 Taylor Polaroids, trust, I just did a video on it. Um, the day I'm filming this, I posted it. So it's up. It's up for your viewing pleasure. If you want to go see them, um, I thought it was fun. So yeah, here they all are once again, but I'm not pulling them all out again. Okay. The next thing I have is a Taylor Regal paper cup. Um, there was a contest where you could meet Taylor at the 1989 world tour. I also have the popcorn bag, not a bucket, a bag. We upgraded for the Eras Tour. Um, and then I cannot forget this because it's the only place I wanted to eat. Um, that would be Subway. Uh, when I tell you Subway was the only place I wanted to eat when this contest was announced, you could ask my mom, my dad, and I lived off Subway for a while. Uh, because when you went to Subway, they had a meeting Taylor contest and you got this cup and it was to meet Taylor. And when I tell you, I was determined, I was determined. And you know what the thing is? 
they all had the same coat on them. But when I tell you, I kept going over and over again, like, it, you know. The next thing I have is the Taylor Swift 1989 Seagull Tumbler coffee cup, traveler cup, whatever you'd like to call her. She is, I don't know how many ounces. That's lovely. Um, and then I have the 1989 World Tour cup. There she is. She's beauty. She's grace. I love the neon print. Like, I am eating that up. Any time that there was merch with the neon print on it, I adored it. Okay. The next thing is CDs. This was my first piece of 1989 merch. This and the Shake It Off t-shirt that you'll see was in a pre-order package and it was the single package and this is the Shake It Off CD single. And then of course I have 1989 Deluxe, 1989 Karaoke, 1989, and um, I have other 1989 just CDs that I got from Target. As you can tell, I have multiples because of these bad boys. Again, that was the best marketing um, to ever exist. Like, you're kidding me? That That is so smart. You don't know which Polaroid set you're going to get. Just open it and just buy it and open it and you might get a different pack. Like, okay, don't tell me twice. The next thing I have, which I'm so glad I pulled this out because you know what? It was kind of justified for me to pull all this out anyways, like to film this video because I want all of this with me when 1989 comes out. So I'm going to leave some of this out, like this blanket. This is the 1989 cover woven blanket and eventually I will do a full Taylor blanket collection too, but she's 1989. She had to, she had to be in this video. Okay. Next up in our journey, we have bracelets that were attached to my wrist all the time. I was the girl who had a Taylor Swift rubber bracelet on her wrist all the time and that came to a halt when I got my tattoo of my Taylor Swift heart that she drew on my Christmas card and you know I just wanted to exchange it for something permanent um this used to be white this is now a questionable yellow um but this is the TS rubber bracelet it looks like that and I have a thin pink one I wore this one all the time. This one right here was glued to my wrist. Might as well have been tattooed because I never took it off. Um, this is the 1989 neon print bracelet. And then we have, do you like my singing? Um, the 1989 World Tour drawstring. When I tell you, she got worn out. This was my favorite thing to ever exist on planet Earth. Um, she went to all the concerts with me before they were clear bag policy. And why did my camera just go out of focus? Does it go out of focus every time I lean down? That's lovely. Okay. I have the 1989 World Tour baseball hat. I have the 1989 seagull scarf. I have the 1989 messenger bag. The 1989 world tour merch bag that merch came in. Yes, I did keep that. You're so right. And with that, we are on to apparel. Okay. Now, this was definitely the thing that I collected the very most did you just see that the very most during the 1989 era um, I did not want to wear anything except for Taylor Swift merchandise as you will see here so when I went after merch this was this was my thing so this was also part of the 1989 shake it off single collection um, so this went with the CD and I'm just gonna try and lay everything is nice. This cleanup's gonna be fun. 
This is the 1989 Circle T. I wore this on album release day. Kind of looks like this one. Taylor's version, original. So there you have it. We have the 1989 postage stamp t-shirt. I love this. It's one of my favorite Taylor t-shirts. The iconic Seagull album cover, long sleeve. I kind of hope it's going to be chilly on Friday because I'm thinking about wearing that. I still don't have my outfit planned. The 1989 neon hoodie. And on the back it says 1989 World Tour. This. When you guys hear me say I don't like long sleeve shirts for merch, I'm not talking about her. She is one of my favorites and all these years later I still wear her all the time. She's simple, she's cute, she's the 1989 World Tour gray long sleeve. Then I have the TS 1989 hoodie. Then I have the navy blue 1989 World Tour tee. The 1989 Ringer Tee, this was sold at Target. You can see by the deluxe. I had the 1989 Ringer Tee for the World Tour. I bought this for $5. Somebody was calling it ugly and I felt bad for it. So I bought this I Heart Taylor Swift shirt and yes, I wear it all the time. I really do. I really do. It's very cozy. This is the 1989 World Tour Red. This was given out for radio promo and my dad came home with one and I was like, okay, bet. So they used to come into his work all the time and they'd give him little things and that was one of them. Thank you to whoever that was because my dad would always be like, yeah, my daughter's a huge Taylor Swift fan. Yeah, my daughter's a huge Taylor Swift fan to anybody who would listen. Anyways, I bought this on Etsy and there's a couple other things that I haven't shown you that are 1989 themed um, that are like fan made but I'm just trying to show original but it made its way into this pile but it was the 1989 world tour and then it was August 17th 2015 which is when I met Taylor and it had like how many fans and all that so I had to buy it. This is the Raglan tee and it has Taylor silhouette from the style music video. The muscle tank that I wore all the time, I thought I was really edgy. The I Know Places t-shirt that's so see-through at this point, but we love her. The style music video silhouette, this is a beautiful tee. Like I loved the visuals in this music video and I loved that they came out with so many merch pieces. Hence, this was like a crop t-shirt, but it was also baggy, but it was the Polaroid. Um, I don't know how it's even picking up on camera, so maybe the ring light is doing its job because in person, you can't tell what this is. It low-key looks like a blue Martian or something, just like fading into the abyss. Like, I'm so surprised that the camera picked that up. I look like a tourist right now. What's happening? Then I have the gray zip-up. It's the 1989, and then on the back, it just says Taylor Swift 1989. I have the bomber jacket that says, they are the hunters, we are the foxes. And this was sold on her merch store. It had little shorts with it. I didn't get the shorts, but my dad got me this jacket for Christmas. I have the Taylor dress. This is the letter dress. She did a little collab and I think this was on her, no, it was definitely on her website. And so I have that. I have the long sleeve jersey. Um, my mom got this for me for Christmas one year and it says 1989 on the back and I love her. She might come out to play this weekend. My heart belongs to Olivia and Meredith. And then last but not least for the apparel is the long sleeve date t-shirt. So it has her birthday and then it has all like the album release date stamped until 1989. So it came out. During the 1989 era, I think this would be so cute, like, if she redid this, because of course there's more dates now, and it would be cute, like, on the front, the back, kind of like a um, Artist of the Decade performance look, like how she had, like, all the album names. That would be really cute. Taylor Nation, you can steal my idea. It's fine. Then I have the 1989 hair ties. 
and it's a miracle that I haven't lost one of those. It's another copy of 1989 and something you have to know about me is when I get my first Taylor Swift copy of an album, I put it in a separate spot. I have all my CDs lined up, right? Well, when I get my first copy, I want to make sure I keep that separate. It's just like a nostalgic thing for me. Like I could literally show you right this very instant. Like this was my first copy of Speak Now <gasps> that I bought 13 years ago today. It's all oh my god that's so emotional that i bought october 25th 2010 with my mom that's crazy to hold this right now um but the moral of the story is i am very nostalgic when it comes to stuff like that and so um i kept them separate and i've yet to find a new spot for them in my apartment like um that's separate so i know um, yeah, that's just like a weird quirk of mine, but I'm just, you know, people really should not be surprised that Timeless is my favorite Taylor Swift song because, um, I'm just like that nostalgic, like, old soul at heart. Like, I love antique shops, I love collecting, you know, things, and I see the value in, like, you know, the memories in life and the people you're with. Ugh, I could just go on and on, but... That is the, I, I have a 1989 keychain on my keys. I'll insert a picture of it here. I almost forgot to show you guys my 1989 world tour beach towel. How could I forget her? Um, but I say that because I'm still organizing stuff in my apartment, but I will say I had everything pretty much organized to the point where I could find everything very, very easy. Like, um, when I was at my parents' house, like, I, um, sometimes, like, I had it all over the place. And so now, like, I have stuff on my bookshelf. I have, like, another little shelf that I've organized. Um, I have my Taylor kitchen stuff in my kitchen. My Taylor apparel hanging up in era order. So it was very, very easy for me to just, like, nitpick everything but the synopsis is um there's still a couple like things i haven't gone through so i'm hoping nothing got like scattered so i think that's everything again this was not to brag in the slightest <laughs> can i show you guys something i need sh i'm just gonna direct your attention to right there that is my prize possession um, that is Miss Taylor. She's a cutout from DSW that my mom somehow persuaded them to give to her. Um, but it was for a contest for Good Morning America. And she came home with me. The contest didn't, but Taylor did. And now that cutout is the most iconic thing. So. Well, you guys, that was all of my 1989 merch from the original era, and I am so, so, so grateful for every single one of these pieces. My parents would always get me stuff for, like, Christmas and my birthday and stuff because they knew I loved Taylor, and I loved collecting Taylor merch, so a huge shout-out to them, and, yeah, little me for also saving my Visa gift cards. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I literally did that and I'm so glad I did. Um, 1989 is an incredibly important era to me and it's an incredibly important era for the memories for me, most of all anything. Like it was the era that truly changed my life in so many ways. Like I met Taylor, um, I had so many unforgettable memories and she found me out of so many fans to graciously send Christmas presents to um, that I literally will never be over that moment as long as I live. Um, it's just crazy to me that that actually happened and that that actually is a thing that I can say. I've met Taylor Swift. She picked me and I found the sense of community during the 1989 era that I still talk to those people to this day. And that is just something so surreal that I'll never be able to live down as long as I live. So yeah, this era is very special to me and I am so emotional thinking about getting to relive it and create new memories. So yeah, you guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this lighting wasn't too horrible, but 
we prevailed. Um, I love it. I'm just more of the natural light person, so I guess I'm not used to it, but yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way, and I'll see you for the 1989 Taylor's Version release vlog that I'll literally be filming tomorrow night. Um, how did we get here so fast? I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.